That is, it is incredibly important. Humans latch on to something that seems old, but is very new and has a future inside of it. And they unpack that future in the environment of the world in which they live with all of its new technologies, and it becomes a radically new future. And some of them are strong enough to make and lucky enough to make that future happen, and they lay the base for an entirely new infrastructure of fantasy. A lot of this is in a book called Reinventing Capitalism, Putting Soul in the Machine, which hasn't been published yet. When will it be? Uh, good question. My, uh, my uh, publisher or my um, literary agent seems to have some interest in it. It's, it's a strange book, John. It, uh, no publisher wanted it when I first uh, wrote 75% of it, and that was in 2002. And um, there have been, there's been a small international conference on it in Amsterdam. Um, there's been uh, a, a program based on it called Re- Reperceiving Leadership in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. And there's been a small international conference in New York, and people flew in from, one broadcaster flew in from L.A. Um, another uh, novelist flew in from um, Australia. So the book has a tiny movement around it, even though, No publisher as yet has seen, they don't understand it. (laughs) What is this book? Why is a scientist writing a book about what seems to be business and reinterpreting the entire scope of, I mean, it tells the story of Western civilization from 2.5 million years ago until now in 66 easy-to-digest chapters, each of which is designed to show you what we live, the civilization we live in and the civilization we could live in from a point of view you've never in your life seen before. So we'll see what happens with it. Well, I can understand the problems that potential publishers would have with you because you are all over the map. In, yes. You know, <laughs> Ain't it in, great? It, it is great. It's just a real pleasure listening to you. Well, thank you. You're real. I mean, I, John, you're such a good reader. It's a it's a gift. It's it's really something special. Well, it. You know, I don't dig into many books that way, but once in a while one comes along that's worth it. And Well, it's not just mine. You've been summing up a lot of other books. You know, it's part of your regular diet. Thanks, Howard. It's been a real pleasure. Well, John, you've been an absolute delight. <laughs> okay. Well, you take care. Okay. Have a good night. All right.